How long do you think you can keep this a secret? Did you know that I pad my timesheet? No. Then apparently forever. You got a Kelly bag? How? There's a waiting list. You know, I need a white woman because I've just about had it with you black guys. <laughs> Imagine it's 2007, and you're watching season 7 of Girlfriends on the CW. The show is funny, everyone's talking about it, and the CW announced that they greenlit another season. What you don't know is that the season will only have 13 episodes instead of the regular 22, and it's going to be their last. We actually didn't even know, really. Yeah, we just sort just of, and then it just kind just of got a went phone into call. the abyss. Mm -hmm. Like, it's over. The first season of Girlfriends had 4 million average viewers. The second and third seasons stayed above 4 million, but after season four, things started going south pretty fast. As viewership dropped and the show went from UPN to the CW network, season seven and season eight barely stayed above 2 million average monthly viewers. The low ratings made things worse, and when the producers weighed the cost of making another season versus the profit they'd earned, the numbers didn't add up. Worse still, the economy was in a rut. It was one of the largest recessions in history. So, instead of a season finale, the show ended without one, leaving the fans and the stars stupefied. This meant that the cast of Girlfriends would soon be out of a job. Bad news for Tracy Ellis Ross, Golden Brooks, Persia White, Jill Marie Jones, and Reggie Hayes. The show wasn't as popular as Friends at the time, so when the stars left, job opportunities were scarce. They had to audition like all the other actors. Compared to stars like Matt LeBlanc, Hayes says he was just another guy who was good at acting. He even had a little spat with the producers for not pushing his character more. Later, he said, they only care about you as much as you can make them money. You know, nobody cares about it. They only care about you as much as you can make them money. The 54-year-old Chicago actor was never confident. He felt like a pushover his entire life. When he came of age, Hayes joined St. John's Northwestern Military Academy. After finishing with the Academy, his dreams of becoming a successful actor never subsided. He got his bachelor's degree in theater and furiously attacked his career goals. Since then, Hayes has landed roles in Criminal Minds, Will and Grace, NCIS, and Girlfriends. Speaking of which... But I always love Persia. I don't care if you tell her. During a recent interview with Hype Plus, Reggie Hayes confirmed he was dating Persia White, one of his co-stars on the show. While some actors can make it work, Reggie and Persia couldn't. The actor recalls the breakup like a punch in the gut. Well, when she breaks up with you, you know, it's like a punch in the chest, you know. Obviously, that hurt like hell. The income Hayes received on the show was pretty substantial. At the height of his career, Hayes had a net worth of over $5 million but things have taken a sharp turn since then. He bought a plot of land and started building a house. When the show was canceled, Hayes had to sell the plot of land. As he recalls, the location of his property was good, so Hayes broke even when he sold it. Pretty soon after that, the famous actor went from a house on the hill to a little rented bungalow. It was in a sketchy area, but it was all he could afford at the time. The residual income from the show was enough for a while, but as time went by, those checks got smaller and smaller. Eventually, Hayes moved into his sister's garage and lived there for six years. He says those were pretty rough times. Like any normal person, he tried finding a job, but that didn't work. Everywhere he went, people would recognize him and ask him to take pictures. When Hayes worked as a bouncer at a nightclub, the same thing happened there too. Fans would walk up to him and ask for pictures. They'd wait in line just to take a photo with him. By this time, it was already 2015. He managed to score minor roles on TV like Carter High at NCIS. For the next four years, Hayes had to make it work. Thankfully, he then landed a one episode role on Blackish. In 2020, Netflix announced that they would be releasing Girlfriends on their streaming platform. Finally, some good news, which was followed by a heap of bad ones. In 2020, Hayes was hospitalized for congestive heart failure. He was annoyed with the whole 2020 fiasco, and he wrote a pretty profane tweet, which we can't show you here. After the incident, Hayes posted some photos of himself on his Instagram profile, and people started verbally abusing him on social media. Instead of letting the online bullies hiding behind a computer screen get him angry, he focused inwardly, 
Hayes went on a diet and started exercising. Since that day, he has lost 60 pounds and is feeling great. After all, he wasn't voted one of people's sexiest men alive for nothing. He even posted a picture of himself enjoying a cheat meal. 54-year-old Reggie is now focusing on his acting career and growing his social media following. Since 2022, Hayes placed Superintendent Collins on Abbott Elementary. Meanwhile, Hayes' ex-girlfriend and co-star Persia White was doing much better. Born on October 25, 1972, the 51-year-old actress played Lynn Searcy on Girlfriends. While Hayes was struggling with his acting career, White immediately turned to music. Just one year later, her first album, titled Mecca, came out. It was a digital release, available on October 31, 2009. She worked on it with her ex-husband, rapper Saul Williams. They were married for one and a half years, from 2008 until 2009. But White announced on MySpace that she split up with her husband. After 2010, she left TV and threw herself into movies. Not only did she appear in productions like Unity and Dysfunctional Friends, for which she received an award from the ABFF for Best Performance, but also co-produced Earthlings, an award-winning documentary. She got to work with Joaquin Phoenix, who was the narrator. Later, she landed a role on a little show you might know as The Vampire Diaries, where she played Abby Bennett Wilson all through season three and beyond. She has also been a part of shows like The Steve Harvey Show and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. With many roles under her belt, Persia White has a net worth of $700,000. She is currently married to Joseph Morgan. The couple met on the set of TBD and they got married in 2014. With her husband and daughter, Persia White is now focused on narrating and writing short stories with her husband. A love story, a dream, a nightmare. White's friend and co-star Jill Marie Jones, who we all recognize as Tony from Girlfriends, followed a similar path. Tony, we meant to say Jill, was once a cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys and a dancer for the Dallas Mavericks. After a fruitful dancing career, she turned her attention to acting. She had a few minor roles in TV, but then landed Girlfriends. After the show's abrupt end, this 48-year-old Texan actress focused on her film career. Between 2007 and 2011, she appeared and starred in eight different movies, including The Long Shots and Private Valentine. At the height of her career, Jill Jones had a net worth of $7 million. That income had gone down slightly, but she still landed reoccurring roles on shows like Sleepy Hollow and Ash vs. Evil Dead. Right now, she plays Bianca on The Shy. Maya from Girlfriends is killing it right now. Golden Brooks played Maya Wilkes, Joan's sassy assistant and loyal friend. She was 30 years old when the show debuted in 2000. She was known for her witty remarks, her passion for writing, and her marriage to Darnell. Some of her memorable moments on the show include her affair with Stan, her divorce from Darnell, and her reconciliation with him. Golden Brooks is arguably the one who was least affected by the cancellation of the show. She took a three-year break from TV and focused on movies from 2008 until 2011. After the break, she returned to TV. She worked hard and landed many minor roles. The first major role she got was in Hollywood Divas, a reality show where she played her true self. She was also the main character for I Am The Night. Her performance wowed the critics. Her most popular recent movie role is probably in The Darkest Minds, a dystopian sci-fi film. With so many movie and TV roles, awards, and nominations, is it any surprise that Golden Brooks has a net worth of $8 million? She is laser-focused on her career and has not been married. She did have a relationship with D.B. Woodside from 2008 until 2010. The couple has a daughter called Dakota, and Brooks takes care of her. If you want to catch more of her bubbly personality, she has a new show called Saturdays. Anytime is never and anywhere is anywhere but in my driveway. Director, producer, actress, singer, TV host, activist, and a fashion icon. There's practically nothing Tracy Ellis Ross can't do. Tracy Ellis Ross played Joan Clayton, the successful lawyer and leader of the group of friends. She was 28 years old when the show debuted in 2000. She was known for her quirky personality, her love for shopping, and her complicated relationships with men. 
Some of her most memorable moments on the show include her feud with Tony, her marriage to Aaron, and her friendship with William. Tracy Ellis Ross is the daughter of legendary singer Diana Ross and music executive Robert Ellis Silverstein. She has five siblings, including singer Evan Ross. After her breakthrough role on Girlfriends, she has managed to land some major projects, including Daddy's Little Girls by Tyler Perry and Labor Pains. For her, the show was not a big success, it was just another stepping stone. In 2014, she was cast in Blackish, which was very successful. She has won several awards for her acting, including a Golden Globe for her role as Rainbow Johnson on the comedy series Blackish. It is an honor to be on this show, Blackish. She is also the creator and executive producer of Mixedish, a spinoff of Blackish that explores her character's biracial background. She has also appeared in music videos alongside Kanye West and Drake. The 50-year-old actress from LA currently has a net worth of $16 million, and her most recent project is Kids in the Hall, where she played the recurring role of Lainey. She was also the star in The High Note from 2020. If you'd like to take a peek inside the lives of former Black stars, subscribe to our channel.